Okay, so today we will continue uh, our lectures and we will see how we can create new point processes from um, more simple one. So we will uh, see how we can mark and uh, the point uh, processes and how we can uh, create Thinness of them. So let's start from some motivation example. So we uh, considered on the previous lectures a point process that consists of a points in some space. So you can imagine like uh, points with uh, some masses uh, in this in a space. Uh, I told masses, but we uh, did not uh, use them. So usually we consider it like some of delta measures at some points. So let's consider such a simple point process. But uh, for in uh, most practical uh, questions, uh, we consider not only uh, points in the space, of course, they will position a uh, random, but we can uh, add some characteristics to these points. So what uh, uh, characteristics can we use uh, in point uh, processes? So we can add uh, some marks to uh, the point process. So, for example, if I consider the uh, position of uh, stars in universe, and I assume that their positions are random, but I also want to consider some characteristics of them. So it could be like masses, mass of a point, point, yes. I can say that, okay, my uh, each point have some mass, smaller or bigger, um, and so on. Mass or volumes, and so on. Also, we can consider more abstract uh, marks, uh, like the colors. Yes, it, 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 this is not uh, numbers, uh, but we can uh, record uh, each the color using a number, and uh, we can, in such a way, we can say that we consider some red or green points, and we can consider some decoloring of uh, points or black. So uh, these are some marks that we can add to a random points. So uh, today we will see how we can uh, create a strict language for such uh, markings in mathematical language. So for this, uh, we should specify the space of uh, values of our marks. So we will assume that we have some space, uh, space, why? And also we will need uh, for it some um, me uh, uh, measurable structure. So I consider the sigma field on this uh, space. So this will be so-called mark space. So this means that uh, each element y in the space y is a uh, mark. So in our 
examples if I consider mass or volume or masses, volumes, we just use y is equal to r plus. It's no negative uh, values for colors. So we can use just uh, if we have some uh, number of colors, I can use just numbers one, two, three, just to enumerate them. And you can imagine uh, another uh, types of marks then uh, which can rise in uh, practical questions. So. Uh, of course, uh, we can mm, uh, we can add to each point uh, mark by some rules, but of course this rule also can be random. So the rule how how we will rule for marking each. Point. So, what is it? Uh, what kind of rule we can imagine? So, of course, uh, you can just uh, say that the mark is depend on a point. So, it can be some function k that uh, depends on a position of the a point in a, a point process. Uh, but uh, more interesting is to consider uh, not only deterministic rule, but we can consider random rule for uh, marking a point in a point process. So, and how we can uh, create this randomness? Random uh, rule for marking points. So we can create some probability realistic law uh, that will say that, okay, uh, some point in uh, position X uh, can have some uh, value of mark with uh, some probability. And we will assume that the uh, uh, law of uh, point process and law of uh, markings are independent. Uh, if you know the, uh, the position of uh, point x. So let me write this rule. Uh, so this is just assumption. Assumption that uh, we want to make that uh, given given uh, a point a process point process eta uh, marks um, assumed uh, to be independent so but uh, their conditional uh, law um, allowed to be dependent on value of a random point in a point process uh, but uh, mm, conditional distributions or uh, distributions allowed uh, uh, to be uh, dependent on the on value of xi. 
that we have in a point process uh, it. So then we will get uh, some, some then we will have some uh, new point process and how we can create it. So then we will uh, have for each point, we will have its mark. I will uh, say y or i. And now we will consider a tilter function at this point. And then we will create such a sum i from 1 to n. So this will be a new or point process. So this will be market point process. So this is the idea. So once more on a picture, uh, what we want to um, create. So let's consider some um, simple case. So I, I have a point process on R. I have some um, positions of a random particles. And also I want to add to uh, this random particles, I want to add some mass. So now I will have like uh, not these points, but I will create uh, here like two coordinates. This is I have two coordinates like bigger or smaller value. And now uh, these points now it, they are in R2. This is x2, y2. We have points now in R2. So we consider this new point process, uh, which now uh, lives in, let me specify here, in uh, product x times y. So I have a new point process that lives in uh, this space. So uh, we will see today that uh, how we can find, uh, of course, we will give a strict definition because I just write some assumption and for, for what shall we want to create. So we will give a, st a strict definition. Then we will uh, see how we can compute uh, the intensity measure Laplace transform or of such a new point a process and of course we will see how we can or what we can say about uh, poison point process with uh, marks. So let's uh, do this. We have plan for our work. So before we uh, will give the definition, I need uh, some small uh, definition for for a probability kernel uh, because here here uh, my the distribution of mark uh, will depends on position of a point so I want to create a, a distribution that depends on some variable in uh, space x. So uh, for this, I uh, will uh, define so-called probability kernel. So I will write let definition one. Uh, okay, uh, I will say that uh, mapping k that uh, acts from x uh, times y. So this is a sigma field on the space y. So let's write, consider our uh, two spaces, x with each sigma field, with its sigma field x and y with its sigma field y. B measurable spaces. And then uh, mapping k is that 
uh, x from x times uh, this or uh, two zero one uh, such uh, that uh, we have two condition for it that at first for each uh, x from x the function k is uh, probability measure and uh, second for, uh, for each so this is the function with respect to second value and if I take the set from y then function as a function of first variable is uh, measurable function. So mapping of a set is called is called a probability kernel. Probability kernel. So uh, what uh, do we do? So I consider for uh, my uh, aim is to uh, create for each uh, x to create some probability distribution for marks. And uh, using this e kernels now, I can define the uh, marking of a point process. So this would be uh, definition two. So uh, that uh, a point process Uh, has form. So we will consider only uh, a point process of such form where I have some of our uh, delta measures at points x, i, but the number of um, points can be random. So I write here uh, form. So we have such a point process on X. On X. Now let uh, K uh, be a uh, probability kernel. Kernel. Kernel from X. From X to Y. So I did not specify here. We call probability corner from X to uh, Y. It's just how we call it. And I continue this definition. Now assume or it was that we have a random variables or random elements would be random elements in uh, y or uh, such that such that so I will say that uh, their conditional distribution are uh, given a point process uh, are independent random variables with distribution of k. So let me write this in the formulas. So this means that the probability that, uh, for example, y of one is some in some subset of uh, delta one, y two is in subset delta two and so on. Uh, let me take n of them. Uh, under conditions. So what does it mean that we know the uh, we know the distribution of uh, we know the point the process. 
So I say that oh, this means that oh, copper I will take is go to this N. And oh, we know the values of x1, x2. So we know this values x. So then uh, this distribution is equal to, so why first we'll uh, have the distribution that depends on for x1. So I write this one, delta 1, times uh, k of x2, uh, delta 2, and so on. So we have such a product, x and delta so this means that the conditional distributions of all first uh, n values if we know that i have n points in a point process and i know their positions then i know the distribution of uh, their masses and uh, this is uh, how it looks like so the independency of marks uh, we write in terms of that the distribution is represent through product of uh, one dimensional di distributions. So oh, this we assume for random variables y and then then the process process xi as we say to be formed from uh, points itself and their marks we create a new point process xi and such process is called a k mark and of point process eta. So this is the main definition of a, a marking or point process. Okay. Of course it can happen that the distribution of oh, marks does not depend on uh, axis so in this case you will have just a product of uh, probabilities that are not depends on position of points so uh, this is how we can create marks and for a point process so and it's uh, natural expect that the uh, distribution of marked or point process uniquely determined by a uh, kernel k and the distribution of uh, point process eta. So what we can say about uh, distribution of sorry. Uh, so, on uh, the lecture about the distributions of a point process, we uh, gave the, the characterization that if we prove that uh, Laplace uh, function of all Laplace transform of a point process, uh, if we know it, then it uniquely determines the distribution of a point process itself. So if I want to prove that idea that oh, the, the distribution of marked point process uniquely determined by the k, uh, the kernel and the distribution of eta, then I should uh, compute its Laplace uh, function. So let's oh, 
of the statement which will give the uh, Laplace functional of new marked of point cross. So this will be theorem Laplace transform or Laplace functionals or Laplace functional. Of marked point crosses. So assume that we have uh, such um, K marking our uh, point process that side K marking of eta in x as from definition as from definition okay and then we can compute uh, its laplace functional the laplace functional of psi is given by uh, first uh, before I write let me start uh, what just for a point so for Laplace transform uh, we define it for a uh, functions so now what is the function so I take for every function or u that acts from uh, the space where is the space for our point process x time y so now function from the product and we assume that it is non-negative how measurable all function for every measurable function uh, we uh, compute its Laplace transform. So I just want to recall uh, what is it. This is just a uh, just for recall. This is an expectation of exponent. And here I write uh, minus integral u. x y psi dx dy okay so this is what i just recall what is um, uh, laplace transform and the statement says that uh, we can rewrite it in terms of laplace transform for point process eta itself so this is initial point process and here i change the function it will be now u star so um, what is u star u star now oh, this is the function from x to r plus of course and this is uh, given by formula u star is equal from x now it depends on x minus log risk and here f x um, integral minus of x y and here the kernel k x dy so this is what all we have here and here in the power x here in the graph was over x times y so uh, this is the statement so this is equality 
or we will we will put on this code this one. Also, oh, let's start. Let's prove it. So to prove this, oh, I recall what is a Laplace functional by the definition. Oh, I just write it first. This expectation here integral u from x y psi dx dy. But now we know that uh, psi is equal to sum of delta measures in these random points. And the sum has random number of swans. So uh, we already uh, discussed it. Integral with such a uh, measure is just uh, summation uh, i from 1. Uh, so let me write all possible uh, values of uh, kappa of the summons. So let me write it like uh, right here. So I will. Uh, take all possible values of uh, kappa. So this will, I will denote by m. This is from zero to infinity. And then let me add uh, here expectation of this indicator that kappa is equal to m. So I have exactly m summons. And now I can write here m summons for values of a function u at random points x, i, y, i. So here we assume, oh, let me write that if I have the summation for like from 1 to 0, this is by notation will be equal to 0. Okay, this is the definition uh, because here m can be equal to 0 if we have no points, we just have 0 on uh, itself. So uh, I have such function. Uh, so now uh, what I want, I want to take the conditional expectation. I know the conditional distribution of uh, y's and I know that uh, this conditional distribution under condition of x's and uh, number of points. So I write all this all this like I take the expectation of conditional expectation. And we know that we will have the same, the expectation of conditional expectation is i, i, under condition of m and just x1, x2, and so on, x, m. We know that this is the same. Now I can write down this uh, conditional expectation. So what do we do here? Uh, this value is measurable with respect to condition, so I just write it outside of conditional expectation. And for this one, uh, I know the distribution of y, so I can find the expectation. So I write integral how much m times over y. Uh, and here I write exponent minus sum i from 1 to 
m u from x i and how do we find the expectation we just integrate with uh, the distribution of random variable y and i write the probability law k from 1 to m so we know that the distribution is equal to k and here we have dependence of x i d uh, y k so this is uh, just from the definition here let me come back to the definition so i use uh, this conditional distribution of random variables y okay so we have just a product of kernels at random points and to integrate with respect to dy okay so we have uh, this one so now we need to come back to the Laplace transform of the initial point process eta. Oh. So I can continue this once more. Once more, so I have some. Oh, here I write the expectation. Maybe I should write this expectation is equal to M of this product. And here, uh, since I have uh, such a product, so exponent to the sum, this is the product of exponents. So here, uh, this multiple integrals split to product of integral. Yes, we have the product of uh, measures and we have here the product of uh, exponents to u xi yi so this will be the product of integrals over y here exponent minus u from xi And here I write kernel x i t. Oh, I'm sorry. Here I mean I. This index here I should write k, of course. So here k uh, and here k i uh, d y i. This is what I have in one integral here. Doesn't matter what index. So what we can see, so we have the uh, expectation of uh, some functions that depends on the um, points. So I just want to write it. Like, uh, let me write once more, one step additional. Expectation M and this uh, I will write like uh, to get the uh, Laplace functional for initial point process. I will write exponent to the power uh, minus uh, minus logarithm. Let me write it then. And here the okay, I have product. Uh, I will write I will write here product product and here exponent minus. Minus minus logarithm, and here I write this what we have x i okay. 
So I did not change nothing here, but I write in the form of Laplace transform of the uh, functional. So now this is what I have here in brackets. This is new function that depends on, on xi. So I can write that this is exactly the expectation of um, I will have the same sum. Couple is equal to m. And here I write uh, e to the power minus sum I write u star from x k k from 1 to m. Am I right? I just write the product of exponents as an exponent from sum and I denote this one this one. This is functions and that depends on uh, axis of xi. Because when I integrate the dependence of y disappears, I have just some function of x. That's all. So this is just the uh, uh, if I uh, put together all uh, possible values of uh, number of points, this will be exponent to minus here k from 1 to kappa, u star from k. And this is just a Laplace transform of point process eta from u star. And this u star that we uh, denoted in um, the statement. So here now I assume you understand uh, how we get uh, this uh, function u. Yeah, the function depends on this x. Okay, so uh, this is uh, what we saw from the uh, the definition of the uh, marked point of process. So by this we end the proof, and this is a uh, very useful formula why because now if i want to understand that for example will be the um, poison the market poison or process will be the poison process again so if i have like uh, this picture of poison point processes poison point process and i add some volumes as we started with some example. So now this is a point processing R2. Or will be this point process, a poison point process, uh, and under what conditions? Of course, I should, I will assume that initial point the process eta is a poison point process. But maybe I should assume something about distribution of marks in the process or not. So uh, we will uh, see it. And uh, the idea of how we can see that some point process is a poison point process. We should calculate it, its uh, Laplace transform. So, in order to calculate its Laplace transform, uh, so we uh, now know how we can compute the Laplace transform of the market point process, and we should understand if it's equal to uh, Laplace uh, transform or Laplace uh, functional point process in x times y. But uh, before uh, do this, we need to know the intensity measure because we know that the poison point process is characterized by its 
intensity measure. So yes. So let's uh, see how we can compute the intensity measure of the marked point process. So this will be theorem. Okay. It's not so big here. Uh, intensity measure. of uh, market point process. So again, uh, let it be a point process of such a form. It takes uh, I, I from one to couple, where a couple is um, probably random value. Uh, this uh, B point process, this intensity measure, lambda. Uh, and now let uh, let uh, psi be so as we denoted it as k marking of eta. So we know that we have some kernel and we create k marking of eta. And uh, now the statement then our psi is a point process on x times y, so we say this intensity measure is intensity measure. So uh, b will be noted like uh, lambda uh, times k, and now I will write it, what does it mean by uh, definition. Where by definition, so this is the measure that acts on that with values on C, which is given by definition. We integrate over our space C here, uh, set uh, over set C, uh, K, X, T. Y lambda T X. So where C is space uh, subset from uh, this product. Okay, so we integrate here integration over X time that times of Y space and uh, we create this a uh, new measure like this. So how we can understand this in the picture. So if I have some a point process here, sure. So, and I know that these points are being distributed uh, based on some uh, Distribution, distribution of such form that this will be lambda. So this is the intensity measure. Yes, and then I create a new measure on the product. Uh, and to do this, I need to know the the, the distribution of y at each point of x. So I take x, and for each point x, I have its own distribution, like some distribution of masses, yes. So here, this is my mark distributed here. And so on for each x, I probably have 
different distribution for uh, the mark. So to create the new uh, measure in product of space, I just if this will be my subset C, subset C. I just uh, we can understand that we create average of uh, these kernels with respect to initial measure. So this is just the average of measures. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, uh, lay, let us prove this statement. Uh, about the form of intensity measure. So to do this, we will almost repeat the steps of the previous proof, uh, but now we have more simple case. Okay, uh, okay. So let's take C from this uh, product and to find the Intensity measure, I should find the expectation psi of C. So, again, as in the previous, I consider let me recall I have random number of summons xi. So, I consider all possible values of kappa. I write here expectation all possible values of kappa. Then, uh, how I can write the value of psi from C? So, by the definition, I just need to uh, see uh, which of m points uh, belongs to subset C. So, I have m points and I check. If this pair x i uh, k notation k now is k y k belongs to all subsets. And again I take so I will not rewrite it. I take the expectation of conditional expectation the same under the condition kappa is equal to m and here x1 x2 and so on x m okay and mm, it's the same as before to find this we can we need to integrate over uh, value of y so this would sum from uh, zero to infinity. Here I write cup is equal to m and expectation of uh, sum is equal to sum of expectations. Sum of expectations and uh, the expectation of this indicator this condition of on x mm. so i fix x and integrate over uh, y you want to see integrate over k x k d y And now, so I have some functions that depends on uh, x. Now I can put together this uh, sums over all possible values. So I write the just expectation k from one to kappa, and here. 
I have integral over y. K does it x k y k goes to c k of x k k y k. Okay, so uh, now what should we do with this value? Uh, again, this is some function of uh, x. So let me know that here when I integrate this is some function of x k. So I can see that this is a one to kappa mm -hmm. u from x k. And what we can recognize here this uh, is the integral expectation of integral of u of x eta dx. And now how we can compute this one to so the integral with respect to a point. So here we use a Campbell formula that we proved on the some first lectures. So by Campbell, formula. Uh, what do we have? So this is just the uh, integral on u of x, and here we write just the uh, intensity measure of point process eta. Yes. Uh, so let me sub sub substitute uh, what we have here. This is integral over x, integral over y, indicator that x, y belongs to c, cup of x, dy, and lambda, dx. And this is just by the definition is uh, uh, value of this mesh on set C. So this means that where we start from the expectation of uh, number of points in subset C and to be came here. So from this, we can see that lambda times k is the intensity measure. Of and that's prove the state. So uh, our idea for next step is to prove that oxide will be a Poisson point process with uh, this intensity measure if we will assume that uh, eta uh, Poisson process also. So I think uh, this will uh, we will do for the ne for next time, and uh, for this we will calculate we should calculate the Laplace uh, functional for Poisson point process. Uh, and we will compare the Laplace functionals and we will see that uh, marked point process is a Poisson process again. So uh, we will do this next time. We also will continue with uh, synonyms of point processes and we will consider some applicational examples, what kind of questions we can solve using marks and so on. Is that all for today's lecture? If some of you have questions. <laughs>